Well so what's your, what's your role today? We're the ushers, slash security, yeah. slash uh, parking lot attendants. Let's just say slash Jackson, New Hampshire has never been safer. <laughs> Perimeter secure. <laughs> <laughs> Perimeter is secure. On behalf of Shelly and Rob, I would like to thank you all for being here this afternoon. Not only to be part of this day, but to be a part of this beautiful tapestry of Rob and Shelly's lives. It's my sole responsibility. Sole responsibility. That's right, don't lose those. Put those in your room it's like before this you go to the speech. bar tonight. Right. <laughs> We're both living in Manhattan, and I think he had just moved there maybe like a year or two prior, but I'd been there for like three or four years. And I was like, I'm never gonna find love in Manhattan and New York. It's too big of a city. Nobody wants to settle down. Like, and then I met Rob. No. Kiss now. No. Yeah, that was worth it. That Do was it. worth holding up for us. Okay, 100. It always is. I mean, good makeout session in the middle of the road. Yeah. yeah. I mean, who doesn't do that? <laughs> I see one of my bridesmaids is my best friend from high school, and she went to Villanova and met a guy and dated him like on and off for like 12 years. And turns out that guy is very good friends with Rob. They went to high school together. So we met at Bob, the other guy's birthday, like five years ago now. And that's how we met, just like old-fashioned way, birthday party at a bar in New York. And we had a few misconnections trying to figure out, like, is that person interested? Am I interested? Yeah, I was really interested in her. I wanted to get to know her more. We were chatting, we were having a good time. Um, I didn't necessarily think, oh, that's definitely the one, but it was like, oh, I like her, she's cute. I should probably talk to her a little bit more. So Misty helped us like actually connect and we finally went on our first date like three months after we met. And then we've been together. Love isn't always an aha moment. In fact, deep, lasting love is often forged through the hard times. During their first year together, Rob was there to support Shelly during both the happy times and the difficult times. Being there for each other made their bond even stronger. In Shelly's words, Rob was always there for me and I knew this was something really special. I'd like to describe their relationship as a process of a building, almost like a journey uh, they're in. The first time I recognized that there was something a little extra going on, uh, this was a couple years ago, we had had brunch and we left them and they started walking, they don't know this, they started walking down the street separately and after about 10 steps they both reached out and touched hands and then they moved into the same neighborhood not together but the same neighborhood and then they moved in to an apartment together so you know gradually progresses and then they get a dog I'm not sure what that means we got to think about that is like owning a dog by Taylor Molly. First of all, it's a big responsibility, especially in a city like New York. So think long and hard before deciding on love. On the other hand, love gives you a sense of security. When you're walking down the street late at night and you have a leash on love, ain't no one going to mess with you. Because crooks and muggers think love is unpredictable. Who knows what love could do in its own defense? On cold winter nights, love is warm. It lies between you and lives and breathes and makes funny noises. <laughs> love wakes you up all hours of the night with its needs. <laughs> it needs to be fed so it will grow and stay healthy. Love doesn't like being left alone for long, but come home and love is always happy to see you. It may break a few things accidentally in its passion for life, but you can never be mad at love for long. What you both share, beyond a deep love for Benny, is a love of travel and adventure, like whipping through the hairpin turns of the Switchback Mountains in Italy, 
I will personally always remember our group sailing trip to St. Martin. After capsizing our dinghy on the way to shore, we were stranded on the island, soaked to the bone, without a place to stay. Myself, Toby, Yost, Athena, and the two of you ended up sleeping on the floor of a French cafe using tablecloths as blankets. What could have been a horrible experience ended up being one of your favorite memories. Adventures like this have become some of the most treasured experiences in your relationship. Everybody that was there at 1229 to come up here. Never forget, never forget. Yeah. We're going to tell you a little story about a dinghy and about you know the, the moment. If we didn't know it already, I think many of us, and, and hopefully Rob too, knew that Shelly was the one. I'm just going to paint the scene a little bit for you. We're sailing in uh, the French West Indies, so that's you know St. Martin, St. Bart's, things like that. The, the men on the boat have done a fair amount of sailing. We know what this entails. It's basically camping on the ocean. The girls, not so much. So they spend, you know, probably 45 minutes getting ready. Yeah, cute, yeah. <laughs> all the makeup, cute little black dresses, all these things. We're going to a very fancy French restaurant. Yeah, in, in St. Mark. Mark. Yeah, so right. Also, the ladies' side after they're done. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one dinghy, and there's seven of us. And we could make two trips, but no, 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 we should just make one. <laughs> <laughs> tomato, tomato, uh, we're getting close to the beach. And the right way to do this is you get in an angle, you let the wave you know, take you gently into shore, and you ride up. Uh, we're telling Rob, Turn the boat, turn the boat, meaning go to the correct angle. He goes to the exact wrong angle, and we summarily roll the dinghy Wait into the water, directly right over us. All the girls in their dresses and makeup dumped into the ocean, motor underwater, everybody soaked. So we drag this thing ashore. You know, motor's not going to start, and you know we're, we're trying to fix this thing, take it apart, whatever. Nothing we can do. I'll say as a you know, testament to who Rob is. He, through this whole time, is unfazed, is chatting up everybody at the bar, <laughs> is buying all the wine, and like, they love us, and they have, somehow it's not weird that we're just gonna sleep on the floor of their restaurant, and it's no big deal. And <laughs> testament to Shelly, who doesn't know us all that well at this point, is like, somehow doesn't think that this totally is the game. weirdest thing that has ever happened to anybody, and is not basically like, trying to catch a flight home at that point. So, for all of us, that was, one, a very classic Rob moment of, trying to help at the moment when his help was needed the least, but a <laughs> wonderful effort all the same. And Shelly always game for everything and didn't bat an eye at what most women would have said, like, I'm never dealing with these people again. So <laughs> cheers to both of you. You're a perfect match, and we look forward to many more adventures with you. I'm like an extroverted introvert. I'm shy. I like don't like I I like can socialize, but I'm not like the super gregarious party all the time person. And Rob will make friends with everybody, and that's what I just love so much about him is that he's just so outgoing and friendly with every single person he meets. And you know he will come home with stories of like the ten people he met that day, and like it's such a good balance to me because I tend to be shyer, and I was I just admired that about him. I was like, oh, that that's such a great thing. Yeah. One of the things that shows to me about Shelly is how much she cares about her friends, her family, her job, and how much even when she doesn't, it's not conscious, she's always thinking about how to make that next point, how to like do that next thing, how to make that next gesture for all the people that she loves. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the fabulous great. Shelly, when I asked Rob how he would describe you, he said, well, obviously she's gorgeous. Beyond this, he truly loves who you are as a person. He describes you as friendly, funny, and always having an opinion. He loves your passion and your drive, not just in work, but in life. He loves how smart you are and that you are truly a complete person in all aspects of life. Beyond your love for each other as individuals, it was immediately clear to me that you understood the ways in which you complement each other. For Shelly, it is generally easier for her to go into a routine and she loves the way Rob motivates her to share more about herself and more of her time with those around her. So she's like another sister to me. 
and she's just she's a strong person she's independent she's beautiful you know she's been through a lot of ups and downs and she always holds her heads high and smiles and so I'm just happy for her and proud of her and yeah these are my parents um, wedding rings so my mom had given me hers after my father passed away so I have both of them as my something old. And then my flowers are my something blue. And my something borrowed is Katie's thing in my hair. Katie and Missy love the show Say Yes to the Dress, so they really wanted to go. They were filming while we were there. We were, they were filming while we were there. We try, I tried a bunch of dresses that were like the same style that I decided didn't look good on me. And then I saw the dress from like across the room. I saw like the sparkly. And I was like, I'm gonna try on the sparkle dress. And then, and then that she was putting it on, and I was like, I started laughing, and I had some champagne at this point, and I just started laughing, and the the woman's like, why are you laughing? I'm like, oh, this is my wedding dress. <laughs> and then I went out and I showed them, and they were like, this is your wedding dress. I'm like, yeah, he's really brought out this fun side that I know has always been in Shelly, um, but maybe hasn't she hasn't always wanted to share with everyone else. You all know Shelly's the life of the party until 11. Well, Rob can rally well past three. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> Together, they've made a life of adventure, sanity, and partnership that we can only imagine will be the journey of the century. Shelly is independent, determined, and strong as they come. Life has certainly thrown her more curveballs than some. But we know Rob will take care of and love our girl as it seems. You know you're better off together as a team. That's nice. This thing's okay. If you're ever gonna PDA, <laughs> this is the <laughs> When you wish upon a star, makes no difference who you are. Anything your heart desires will come to you. If your heart is in your dreams, no request is too extreme when you wish upon a star, as dreamers do. Fate is kind. She brings to those who love the sweet fulfillment of their secret longings. Like a bolt out of the blue, fate steps in to see you through. When you wish upon a star, your dreams do come true. Thing is I've always wanted a brother so I've had a sister obviously my whole life and then I married Kara and I got two more sisters uh, but now I get to have a brother finally and I couldn't I couldn't be more thrilled with, with Rob as a brother so Rob welcome to the family Cheers. 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 so a couple of life lessons that we've learned from Rob over I think 11 years of going on an annual trip together there's no such thing as excess anything there's no such thing as too much butter, too much bacon, too much anything. That's, that's Rob. When we send him to the grocery store to buy essential items, he'll come back with a Nerf gun, uh, a slip and slide, <laughs> and other miscellaneous items. And the last life lesson that Rob has taught us is, and your mom actually mentioned it earlier, never let the day go. Rob will always put one more log on the fire. <laughs> He'll crack open one more beer. He'll be there until the end for his friends and for his family. So cheers. Cheers. You know, we've started dating four years, a little four and a half years ago, and you've all been integral in our relationship. Um, as we've grown together and culminating in this big day, which is really just the start of the rest of it. And it. It. Marriage. You know, the stuff, whatever. Um, but no, I wanted to thank everyone for making the trip up. We really appreciate it. And we really appreciate you guys being here and celebrating with us uh, as we get started on it, get started on our lives together. And we hope that you'll stay um, as integral to us moving forward as you've been to us to get here. So with that, uh, thank you. Uh, actually, wait, Shelly, Shel do you have anything you want to say? Yeah. Now, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Thank you. Rob, today I take you as my husband. Rob, today I take you as my husband. I join my life with yours. I promise to love and to honor you. 
I promise to love and to honor you, to treasure and respect you, to walk with you side by side in joy and in sorrow. I vow to be honest, caring, and truthful, to love you as you are and not as I like you to be. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> and to grow old by your side as your love and best friend. And to sorry, what was that bit? <laughs> and to grow old by your side. And to grow old by your side. As your love and best friend. As your love and best friend. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love. From this day forward. <laughs> From this day forward. Shelly. Today I take you to be my wife. Today I take you to be my wife. I join my life with yours. I join my life with yours. I promise to love and to honor you. I promise to love and to honor you, to treasure you and to respect you, to walk with you side by side in joy and in sorrow. I vow to be honest, caring, and truthful, to love you as you are and not as I want you to be, and to grow old by your side as your love and best friend. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love from this day forward. Shelly, do you take Rob to live together in the union of marriage? I do. Not yet, you've got to wait. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> to take him as your best friend and partner in life. To honor, cherish, and love him. From this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness, in health, for all of your days. I do. Louder, please. I do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Rob. Do you take Shelly to live together in the union of marriage? I do. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Rob, Shelly looks forward to more 1229 Never Forgets, more Switchback Mountains, and more adventures together. She looks forward to being partners in crime and falling more and more in love. She knows that no matter what challenges come your way, she is stronger in facing those challenges because she has you. Shelly, Rob is so excited to be sharing his life with his best friend. He's looking forward to continuing your adventures around the world, to sharing his life with the amazing woman who has been with him through the roller coaster of life. He's looking forward to children, family, and a life of fulfillment. Family and friends, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and by the state of New Hampshire, I am pleased to pronounce Shelly and Rob as wife and husband, sealed together today, both in law and in love. Rob, give her a kiss, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Rob Schmidt and Shelly Venus. That was the clincher. Weekend. That was, uh, probably the weekend where it was like, okay, Shelly can hang. Yeah. This, this is, this is going to work you out. You can dump a girl into an ocean and then like drag her on shore and then be like, we're going to be sleeping here. <laughs> and she's just like, yeah, this works. I'll do that. Here's your blanket. <laughs> and now presenting Mr. and Mrs. Rob and Shelly Everybody in this room, including your dad, Shelly, are so proud and happy for you both, and we couldn't love you more, and we're so excited to spend many more years loving and supporting you on your journey together. So there's a common phrase that's often said as a joke, that today is the first day of the rest of your life. There's a caveat to that that applies today. 
the first day, or today is the first day of the rest of your life together. Today is a very special, happy, and memorable day where everyone you love and care about is here to celebrate the love that you have for each other. However, this is just the beginning of something beautiful. Make it your goal to love each other even more every year you are together, starting today. That way, you won't remember today as a landmark representing the best day of your life together, but rather as a baseline from where your love can grow. I love you both and could not be happier that we are all now officially family. So on that note, raise your glass to a long life together and may your love continue to grow year after year. Cheers.